Insomnia by Ellen Bass All over the world, people can't sleep. In different time zones, they are lying awake. Bodies still. Minds trudging along like child laborers. They worry about bills. They worry whether the shoes they just bought are really too small. One's husband dies. Her son left for college and she doesn't know how to program the VCR. Another was beaten by her husband. One is planning a getaway. One is holding stolen goods. One's on the couch in ICU. His daughter, it turned out, actually does have a brain tumor, even though the doctor said they do an MRI just to rule it out. The woman on the other couch is snoring, which is strangely soothing evidence that people really do sleep. Some are laying in satin sheets, some in hammocks, some in jail, some under bridges. One is at the North Pole studying the impact of pollution. A man in Massachusetts thinks about a lover he once had and the jasmine flowers she strung in her hair. Coincidentally, the lover now in Rome remembers looking out the window over the sink while she's washing dishes. She looks out in the lawn and she thought how perhaps for the first time she wasn't lonely. Some are too cold. Some are too hot. Some are hungry. Some in pain. Some are in hotels listening to people having sex in the next room. Some are crying. One, the cat woke up. And now she's worried about the rash. She noticed in the evening and wonders if her daughter, who's too afraid to swim, should be pushed. Some get up. Some just stay in bed. They eat Oreos or drink wine or both. Many read. A few make intricate Halloween costumes. A peacock with eight real feathers in the tail. Some check their email. They try sleep tapes, hypnosis, drugs. They listen to their clocks, ticking smartly, like women in high heels. Those who can cling to their mates, an ear pressed to the neighboring lungs like a stethoscope, hoping to catch a ride on the steady sleep breath of the other to be carried like a seed on the body of one who is able. Right now, in Japan, dawn is coming and everyone who's been up all night is relieved they can stop trying. In Guatemala, though, the insomniacs are just getting started and have the whole night ahead of them. It's like a wave at a baseball stadium, hands around the world. So here's a prayer for the wakeful souls who can't rest. As you lie with eyes open or closed, may something comfort you. A mockingbird, a breeze, the smell of mint, your child's birth, a kiss or even me in my chilly kitchen with a coat over my nightgown, thinking, thinking of you.